let's get unboxing. We'll see what's inside. Okay, right, so we're going to do the unboxing of the new LZ Fan waterproof charger, which is coming out January of 2022. So I already quickly just opened it up. Um, their unboxing usually go pretty quick. So we got some packing material. Uh, we got the user manual. Let's get the box out of the way. And the charger itself is sitting in this. So there we go. Here's the front of it with the fan. It's got heat, it's got the heat sink fans plus a fan inside. Here's uh, the cords. Looks like the LED light is in here. Here's the back of the charger. And the other side. So there we go. Okay, so here is the LZ fan out of the box. The one thing uh, I first noticed uh, is the weight. It definitely weighs a little bit more than the previous one we reviewed. Um, probably has to do with the material. Uh, used to keep it water and dust resistant, uh, but it's definitely uh, feels heavy duty, you know uh, No plastic it seems to be involved anywhere. It's just all metal. So it's definitely nice and robust And I'm sure it can definitely take uh, a beating here. I mean piece of plastic seems to be the handle, but uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna go over some of the uh, specs So like in the previous LZ fan um, We'll go over a few of the things. Uh, this one also uh, carries a 24 month warranty. Uh, that was like the previous one. Uh, it uses the uh, three stage smart technology. Uh, it also has a 16 foot cord. And uh, this one, one cool thing about this one, uh, it can be wall mounted. There's actually um, holes for you to mount it to the wall if need be. Uh, there is a clear charging indicator that shows the different charging levels. So now let's talk about the, the weather resistant rating. So this one has an IP67 weather resistant rating. Okay, so what's that mean? I didn't know, so I had to look it up and uh, we'll kind of go over what I found um, in my paperwork here. So IP, so the IP stands for international protection. Uh, it's also called the ingress protection. So our numbers are six and seven. So the first number uh, is referred to as the dust resistance. So ours is a six. So it's completely protection against dust. So you don't have to worry about if you're in a dusty area, don't have to worry about the dust getting in there and damaging the unit. So the second number, uh, the second number refers to the water resistance. So ours is a seven. So a seven says it protects against temporal water immersion between 15 centimeters and one meter deep for a maximum of 30 minutes. So, now in the instructional manual, uh, they talk about the water, the, uh, how water resistant it is here. And it says, you know, one of, the, one of the questions here, the answer was, can it be used outside if it rains? Yes, of course, but be cautious. Please don't place in standing water. So I feel like it is totally safe to keep it outside when it's raining, and that's what we're gonna to test today. You know, funny backstory, um, I was on an assignment for 10 days uh, with the golf cart, um, and one night it did rain. I didn't know it was gonna rain. The original golf cart charger, the actual easy go on ours, um, I was using it, and it wasn't raining that hard. It came out the next day, and the whole thing was fried. So I had to run out and grab another one. It was a whole big mess. So uh, I'm definitely welcoming this, uh, this feature on this charger. I don't think you ever run into a time where the charger would be submersed, but definitely out in the rain, you know, overnight it gets, it's raining, the charger's on. I, I think, uh, I feel it's, it's definitely gonna hold up to that. So we're gonna try that today. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get to the part where we are going to plug it in and start to charge it. So one thing you'll notice uh, when you plug it in, the light on the front will, will flash green and yellow. Uh, that's just showing it's in a standby uh, mode and it's ready to charge. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna plug it in and uh, we'll see how it goes here. Okay, so we plugged it in. 
you'll notice the light will go to a solid red. Uh, the fan starts to run. So it's, go, it's going ahead and, and charging the unit. All right, so let's do some, uh, let's do some water testing and see how water resistant it is. So right now it's plugged in, fan's running. Uh, so let's just try here. Let's, let's set it here and let's just simulate a little bit of rain best we can here. Still running. I'm going to turn on its back now. It's going good. This fan's still running. Try a little more. Yeah, she's still going good. No problems. There's a little bit of a puddle there. Throw her in the puddle. Try a little more of a direct shot at it. But yeah, so there we go. One thing I could hear a little bit when the water was, was hitting was the fan would kind of rev down a little bit because uh, you know the water's hitting it, it's slowing it down a little bit. So I heard it rev up, rev down a little bit. But I mean, she's still going, it's charged up. No problems, even had that little puddle there. So that, that's pretty incredible. So I'm pretty impressed. I think this is, uh, this is awesome. So All right guys, so that was the unboxing and quick review of the new LZ Fan waterproof charger. Uh, I'm thinking they knocked it out of the park with this one. This one is really cool. Uh, I love the metal housing. I like the weight. Uh, it just seems uh, extremely robust. Um, and the waterproofing is just, it's incredible. Um, you saw us hitting it with the hose. Um, you did notice the fan would kind of rev down and rev back up. I'm sure it's just, you know, cause the water's hitting it, probably slowing it down a little bit. But uh, yeah, this thing is really cool. I can't wait to use it in the future and uh, keep testing it out. But uh, this will be available on their Amazon store in January of uh, 2022. And um, once it's released, I'll add a link to my uh, YouTube video so you can see it on Amazon. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, uh, just send me an email or uh, comment below. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm in the garage here and I'm charging my, uh, charging the golf cart with a new charger. And uh, I just want you to know, I just realized this, you know, on the side here, there's a charging uh, LED light, let you know the status of what's going on with the battery. But also on this side, there's also an indicator light. So it's on it's on the back here and over here by all the indicator uh, uh, the indicator state it shows uh, the status of the battery also. So uh, I just wanted to pass that along. I didn't know that because we were outside and it was so bright but uh, now that I'm in the dark garage here uh, I can see it. So there you go. Two spots.